Hey guys and welcome back to another video. In today's video I would love to show you how to crochet a moss stitch, also known as a linen stitch. So for this quick tutorial I will be using a 6mm crochet hook and some nice thick yarn just so you can see the stitches that I'm going to be using. Now I will be working in US terminology so for those in the UK when I say single crochet that will be converted into a double for you guys. So let's jump into how you make the moss stitch. To start with we're going to create a nice easy slip knot and next we're going to chain an even amount of chains so for the purpose of this demonstration I'm just going to do 10 but if you're going to make a blanket or something chain the desired length but make sure that it lands on an even number. So now I've got my 10 chains, I'm going to single crochet into the second loop from the hook. So there's the first one, this is the second. I'm just going to pop a single crochet in there. And next I'm going to chain one. And that's our moss stitch that's going to build up. So now we're going to jump over this next stitch. We're going to hop over and pop a single into the next one. Make sure that you skip that stitch. There's the single crochet and then chain one. And again, we're gonna jump over this next stitch. So hop over there, work into the following one. So jump over and then pop a single crochet into that stitch, chain one, jump over single crochet, chain one and you're going to do this all the way to the end of your foundation chain until you reach this last section here where we've got two chains left and just like normal we're going to jump over there and work into this chain here. And now for the next row we're going to chain one and then turn the work over. Now for this bit it can be a bit tricky but just be patient with yourself because we're going to work into the chain spaces instead of the stitches. So we're going to work in these chain spaces and if you're struggling to see them see here how I've got two little bits of yarn attached to the green here. It's just next to that. So there's the stitch, there's the chain space. So I'm going to po poke my hook into there, grab hold, pop a single crochet, chain one, and then we're going to jump over and work into the next chain space. So again, if you're struggling, you can pull this work about, don't worry about stretching the stitches or anything. But if you are struggling, look for where these two anchor stitches are here. That's that's the previous stitch. So we're going to jump over that and work into the next space. And again, we're going to jump over the stitch there. We're going to jump over and work into the chain space. Chain one. And now we're at the end of this first row. We're going to work into the very top of the stitch. So we're going to just work into that top. Make sure that you grab both of the loops there 
and work your last stitch into there, your last single crochet and then chain one and turn your work over again. So we're going to work back down this side, we're going to work into the chain spaces, never into the stitch, we're always going to work into the chain spaces and just like I said if you are struggling to see, luckily with this yarn you can see pretty clearly where my stitches are, the anchor stitches as I'll call them, hanging down onto the previous row and we're going to work in between them and like I said earlier you can stretch this about it will still hold its shape pretty well after you've manhandled it a little bit. So identify where you're going to work, pop your hook through, single crochet, chain one and then jump over again so jumping over that stitch and working into the next chain space. Single crochet, chain one, and then jumping over. So there's my two anchor points there. So jumping over that, pop the hook into the space, single crochet, chain one, and repeat. And then again, now that we're at the end, I'm going to work into the top stitches of the previous row, just a nice single crochet in there and then chain one and turn the work over. I can see it's starting to come together now. I'm just going to do one more row so you can see how it works up a bit easier. There we go, can you see how the stitches are starting to come through nicely? So this stitch gives you a brilliant texture. I personally am a huge fan of the moss stitch, also known as the linen stitch. I find it's probably one of the best ways to make things like dish cloths, you know, your cleaning scrubbies and all that. But also if people are making something like the uh, heat pad, things that go in your kitchen that you put your hot pans on or even the reusable makeup scrubbies that I've seen people making if they use them if they make them out of uh, cotton yarn but as you can see this uh, it has a brilliant texture it's got a nice bit of flexibility and it still holds its shape even after a nice good tug it still holds that nice shape so the moss stitch is one of my favorites and I really do enjoy sewing I really do enjoy crocheting the moss stitch. So there we go. I really hope that you enjoyed learning how to make the moss stitch, also known as the linen stitch. I really hope this helps add a new stitch to your crochet memory bank in that crafty brain of yours. And don't forget to subscribe for more. I've really enjoyed doing these videos. 
the, the great fun. So all of the tips, tricks and free crochet patterns that are coming out weekly. Make sure that you subscribe so you don't miss any of them. And also tap that little bell icon as well so it'll let you know when I upload. So once again, thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye for now.